Are some vegetables better for weight loss than others? Yes, and protein is one of the main reasons. In this video, I will share my top three tips for choosing the best high protein vegetables for healthy weight loss. Plus, I will share the number one mistake that you may be making with vegetables. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Dr. Andreas Jenfeldt, CEO of Diet Doctor, and today I'll be talking about the best high protein vegetables for weight loss. After watching this video, you will know which vegetables are the best to choose and which ones to avoid. Let's start with the first thing you may want to keep in mind. Choose vegetables with a high protein percentage. When you hear the term high protein foods, do you think of vegetables? Probably not. And it's true that vegetables don't provide much protein, especially compared to meat, fish, dairy products, eggs and beans. A serving of vegetables may only have a few grams of protein at most. And that's a small fraction of the amount of protein you will get in the same amount of chicken breast, lean meat or fish. But many vegetables have a high protein percentage. This means that they provide a lot of protein per calorie. Vegetables with high protein percentages contain very few calories or net carbs, and they also provide fiber, which can help you feel full. You can actually eat as much as you want of these vegetables. In fact, I recommend that you include them at most of your meals. Tip number two, eat mostly non-starchy vegetables. We've talked about the protein percentages of vegetables, but there is also another important concept to keep in mind when choosing vegetables, and that is whether or not they are starchy. You'll want to mainly stick with non-starchy vegetables. Which ones are those? In nearly all cases, they are the types that grow above the ground. And these vegetables contain very few net carbs, or total carbs minus fiber. Most of the non-protein calories in vegetables come from carbs. Therefore, low carb vegetables provide more protein per calorie than higher carb vegetables. Spinach is at the top of the list with a protein percentage of 57%, which is really high. And leafy greens, asparagus and mushrooms are more than 40% protein, which is also excellent. But if your favorites are cabbage, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, zucchini, cauliflower, green beans, or other non-starchy vegetables. Feel free to eat them as often as you like. There's no need to choose only leafy greens and mushrooms. Number three, eat fewer starchy vegetables. Starchy vegetables grow mainly below the ground. One exception is winter squash, which grows above the ground. Like all vegetables, Starchy vegetables are low in fat and provide vitamins, minerals and fiber, but they are higher in carbs than non-starchy vegetables. And since they get more calories from carbs than non-starchy vegetables, they have lower protein percentages. The good news is the list of starchy vegetables is shorter than the list of non-starchy vegetables. Carrots, beets, onions, winter squash, white potatoes, sweet potatoes and parsnips. To be clear, you don't have to avoid starchy vegetables altogether, but if your goal is to lose weight or control your blood sugar, enjoy them in small amounts and eat mostly non-starchy, low-carb vegetables instead. Let's do a quick recap. Eat plenty of non-starchy vegetables that have high protein percentages like spinach, mushrooms, leafy greens, broccoli, cauliflower, green beans, and other low-carb vegetables. Enjoy starchy vegetables that grow mainly below ground less often, since they provide less protein per calorie. And now, what is the number one mistake that you could be making with vegetables? Filling up on them at meals without getting enough protein from other sources. Yes, vegetables are low in calories, so they may seem like the perfect weight loss food. 
but although many have high protein percentages, they don't provide all that many protein grams, even in a generous serving. They are so high in water and fiber that you will feel full long before your important protein needs are met. So, make sure to always include a good protein source at every meal. See our guides on meat, dairy, and plant-based high-protein foods to learn the best options for weight loss. Serve vegetables alongside protein or combine them in high-protein recipes like our keto cauliflower chicken alfredo or keto Italian meatballs with mozzarella cheese, spinach, and tomatoes. To see the complete list of vegetables and their protein percentages, check out the link below for our visual guide to the best high-protein vegetables for weight loss. For even more information and guidance, sign up for a free trial, which gives you access to all of our meal plans with customizable shopping lists, video courses, and many other members-only benefits. Find out more at dietdoctor.com. Good luck, and I will see you in our next video.